Hey everyone, it is Elise Cabre here from Daughter, helping you write and record the songs of tomorrow. If you like my content, please remember to hit that little subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. Have you heard of the 10,000 hour rule? This is a concept that gets thrown around a lot among musicians. And it sounds great. Basically, it means that if you do 10,000 hours of practice, which is a lot, by the way, you're basically guaranteed to become an expert or a master in your field, which sounds great. So if I want to become a master songwriter, I just need to do 10,000 hours of songwriting and I'm going to be awesome. The idea of this is really attractive to a lot of people because basically it's one clear, simple path directly to your dreams of stardom. Now it might take a while, it might take a lot of dedication, but you're dedicated, right? You can do this, you can put in those hours and you can reach your goals. The problem is there is a common misconception about this 10,000 hour rule. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. I read a great example of this the other day in a book called The Elite by Dr. Joe Lukens. Basically, Lukens uses the example of handwriting. Now, I know we don't write by hand as much as we used to, but still most adults have done their fair share of handwriting in their lifetimes, right? But have any of us actually gotten better at handwriting the more we do it? I would almost argue the opposite is true. The more we write by hand, the messier and more illegible our handwriting gets, right? Now this is in direct contrast to this 10,000 hour rule, which argues that the more we practice something, the better we get. So why is my handwriting not awesome by now? I've put in my practice, I've done the work, why am I not getting results? This is a common complaint of songwriters. I've done the work, I've put in the practice, why am I not getting results? If you've been putting in the practice, but you still feel like you suck at songwriting, this might be the reason why. The common misconception about the 10,000 hour rule is that there's more to it than just practicing this thing again and again and again. You actually have to practice it correctly. And this correct practice is critical here. Imagine for a moment that the neural pathways in your brain are like a network of roads. So we've got smaller roads with low traffic that don't get used very often. These roads are like single lane gravel roads and we can't travel along them very quickly. Then we've got roads that we use more often. These ones are covered in bitumen, so they can take more traffic and we can travel along these faster. Then we've got the roads that get used really, really, really often and have lots of traffic and they get made huge and turned into super highways. So we can go really fast along these roads. In this analogy, the bitumen on the road is actually equivalent to a substance called myelin. And myelin is basically what the brain uses to make those connections faster and more efficient. So when we practice something, the more we use that pathway, the more myelin the brain coats it with. But what happens is if we keep practicing a mistake, that mistake gets the myelin and we're more inclined to make that mistake over and over again, which is what we don't want. Instead, if we practice correctly and reinforce that correct way, that's the pathway that's gonna get more myelin, meaning that's where our brain is gonna default and go along that pathway. Does that make sense? This is why practicing correctly is so important. You wanna make sure you're reinforcing the right pathways. Okay, but what does all this have to do with songwriting? Well, I'm about to tell you. I want you to think about your songwriting practice for a moment. Do you often find yourself getting stuck getting frustrated, maybe even telling yourself that you're bad at this? Does this often lead to you giving up on the song you're working on and starting a new song, only to lead to you getting stuck on that new song and giving up on that one and then throwing that one out and starting a new one and getting stuck on that one and then the cycle of getting stuck continues and continues. Does that sound familiar at all? If this is what you're doing, I want you to think for a moment about what you're actually practicing here. Although you're putting in the hours of practice, you're actually reinforcing getting stuck. That's what your brain is learning to do. Just like bad handwriting can get worse and worse, so can getting stuck. And if you keep going like this, if you keep reinforcing this getting stuck cycle, eventually you're gonna start to convince yourself that you're just bad at this and you're gonna give up on songwriting altogether. So many songwriters end up like this and it's tragic because it means the songs that they have inside of them are never gonna get written. Hey guys, it is editor Elise here and I was just editing this video and realized I forgot to illustrate a really important point. And that point is, if this sounds like you, if you feel like you're really trapped in this getting stuck cycle, I want you to be really mindful of your self-talk while you're practicing. So if you're being really negative and hard on yourself when you're trying to write songs, the more you do that, the more you're reinforcing that negative self-talk. 
and this can really affect our confidence and creativity. So a key takeaway of this video is to really be mindful of that self-talk. But if you're feeling like you need a little bit more help than this, keep watching. By now you might be thinking, okay, Elise, I get it. I get that practicing getting stuck is bad and practicing finishing your songs is good. But that doesn't mean I can just magically finish all my songs. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Just not, having this knowledge doesn't actually fix the problem. But it is a good start. And this is why I've actually just launched a brand new program that is specifically designed to help people practice songwriting the right way, to get them the results they deserve. It's called the Song Accelerator, and it's a step-by-step -step process that you can follow to write songs from start to finish. Meaning you get to practice the entire process of writing a song, not just the start. This program identifies the five most common roadblocks in songwriting and gives you a formula to get past each of them. So you can stop reinforcing this stuck cycle and actually start reinforcing writing songs and getting them finished. Because this program has just launched, I'm actually offering it at a crazy low price at the moment for the first 100 people. So if you'd like to grab yourself a copy, there's a link in the description. That's it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that subscribe button. As I said at the start, it really helps me out. Um, if you've got any comments for me, leave them and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. I love chatting to you guys. I love hearing from you. Um, if you've got any ideas for future videos, please let me know and I will talk to you next time. Bye.